Hi everyone. Uh, today we are going to implement a list view in Android with uh, event listeners. So when the user uh, clicks on, a, on an item, what is your name? Uh, the application using text-to-speech is going to read that text for us. Next, uh, let's go into activity underscore dot XML. And uh, here I'm going to remove the text view. And instead of constraint layout, I'm going to use relative layout. And uh, next, I'm going to create a list view with a match parent for the width and uh, wrap content for the height. And I'm going to give it an ID of phrases underscore list and um, layout margin top of uh, zero dp and i'm going to close the list view created i wanted to uh, take you to the uh, vector images that i'm using for this um, tutorial and as you can see this is a plus uh, sign which i created by going uh, into drop or right clicking a new a vector asset and then uh, search for uh, for the images here so uh, the next thing that i want to do is to create uh, the layout for uh, for each item so i'm going to say new layout resource file and i'm going to call it list underscore item dot xml press ok Going to text view again here i'm going to change this one to relative layout and i want to use a linear layout here and this is going to be match parent wrap content for orientation i'm going to set it to horizontal And for margin top, I'm going to set it to 3dp and margin bottom also 3dp. Okay. Uh, next, I want to add an image view. Uh, this is going to be um, 0 dp for the width, and for the height, it's going to be wrap content. And every time we use 0dp for the width, we need to use weight. And for the weight, I'm going to say 0 0.15. And for the source, I'm going to use um, IC underscore record, which I've also added. And uh, for the ID, I'm going to name this one item, icon, image view. Next, I want to add a text view. Uh, this text view is going to be also 0dp for the width. And for the height, it's going to be wrap content. I'm going to add an ID of phrase underscore text view. And uh, for the weight, I'm going to set this one to 0.80. Text size, and this will be 20 SP. And margin top, this is going to be uh, 5 dp. And finally, I'm going to put some domain text here that is going to say uh, my font number is uh, 555 555 555 and um, that's it uh, the last uh, view that we need is another image view and this one again is going to be um, 0dp 
and wrap content with a weight of uh, 0.10 and uh, for the source it's going to be drawable I see delete and an ID of delete item image view and uh, let's say gravity center and that is it so let's go ahead and take a look at it and uh, that's what we have all right so uh, next uh, we are going to implement the uh, code for the main activity so let's go into main activity and uh, let's start by adding uh, variables so I'm going to say private floating action button and um, this one I'm going to call it add phrase add phrase btn and uh, let's add another variable this is going to be text to speech continue to add more variables this is going to be an array adapter of type strings call it adapter and uh, we also need a list view and we need an array of type string and I'm going to call this one phrases I'll enter to import classes uh, now let's go into inside the onCreate method because uh, we need to create we need to get the the string array from the string resource file the first thing that we need to do inside the onCreate method is to do resource rest equals to and get resources okay and then I'm going to say phrases to initialize the, the string array I'm going to say rest get string array our array dot comma which is the name of the string array okay so that is the first thing next we want to um, inflate the array inflate the array adapter uh, so I'm going to say um, setting adapter and list view So adapter equals new array adapter and here we need to get application context then we need to pass the the list item layout file Let's see if I can come here and say layout this item and we also need to pass the text view inside the layout file which is this one here phrase underscore text view and finally we need to pass the phrases string array all right so that is going to initialize the adapter uh, next uh, we are going to reference the list view okay, next we are going to set the adapter on the list view and then we are going to um, to use list view set item can focus to true 
Okay, so um, we need to do uh, one more thing, and that is to uh, set the locale for text for text to speech. So I'm going to say setting uh, language locale for text to speech. So I'm going to say text to speech equals new text to speech. Get application context, comma new, okay. And uh, here I'm going to say text to speech set language locale US. And I need a same I column here. All right, so next we need to implement the uh, the listener for it for the uh, items in the list view. So I'm going to say list view. I'll write a comment here. It says um, activating text to speech um, when user select item okay so list view set on click listener actually it is set on item click listener A new um, adapter view and uh, that is going to implement the method for us and uh, inside here i'm going to say string text equals to phrases position or it can be I let's change this to position here and make it uh, easier to understand basically uh, when the user selects an item it is going to this method is going to pass the uh, the item number uh, of that item and then uh, we can uh, get the text on the on the on the array list. Then we're going to uh, implement the toes. That is going to um, output the test. And then toes length short and show. And finally, we need to uh, do the text to speech. So, text to speech, speak, text, text to speech, Q, clutch, comma, no, comma, no. And that's it. So, let's go ahead and run the application. All right, so we have the application running, and uh, let's go ahead and select an event, select an item, nice to meet you. select another one, and um, we have successfully um, uh, created the list view with event listener. And uh, that's it for this video, guys. As always, remember to subscribe, leave a comment, uh, and I'll see you in the next video.